captaincy is, you know, I mean, I wasn't captain of um, Wasps or England when I first started playing for them. And I wasn't captain of England when I finished playing for them. So, you know, there's no, there's no, um, it's not preordained that you're going to be captain of, the, of any team. But the way the game is now, um, I think, and, and but first of all, I think Owen Farrell is one of my favourite players of all time. Uh, as, 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 as was his dad, yeah. who I had the fortune of, uh, and Wigan were one of my favourite teams of all time, and I became very close and still very close with Sean Edwards, Gary Connolly, Inga Twigamala, the late Inga who's, who played for Wasps, um, uh, Martin Afire who also played for Wasps. You know, there's a there's a there's a theme there. So I was very close to those guys. Um, Owen babysat for my son Enzo um, on, when when I was playing in the 07 World Cup final. You know, he brought him on the pitch. He wouldn't go on the pitch with anyone else. And then a few years later, Enzo's there going, Dad. <laughs> my, baby, my babysitter's playing for England. I said, yeah, he won't be babysitting again. His, his rates have gone up a little bit. So he's just a, he's a smashing kid. And you've got to remember that that young man was probably listening to, you know, his dad and mum going around the pitch at Wigan. You know, oh. They were winning. He was winning before, yes. before he was even The apprenticeship. Born. So, you know, he's incredibly driven and I, and I love him to bits. And, and uh, but, but equally, that whole... Um, that what I can't remember what I'm saying now. That whole leadership group. Yeah, the captain. Like, so if yeah. not Owen, then who? Yeah. So, uh, or who else is there? I just think that this. I I think by making your fly half your captain, I think it's I think you're wasting a, a, a trump card. Do you know what I mean? He is already the captain, the leader of that team. I think he has enormous responsibility on his shoulders. Um, he is clearly. In terms of his standards, I, I watch him warming up every week, whether it's for Saracens or England. He's the one driving those standards. That's fine. But the art of captaincy now in the modern game of rugby is really about managing the relationship with your team and the referee, with your team and your opponent, and with your opponent and your team. And on the basis that the majority of penalties and free kicks are given away in and around the breakdown, it just I'm no child psychologist or or child you know um psychiatrist but I know or or, or psychiatrist in any way but I know that uh, if you're fly half or Brian Driscoll at outside center it's quite difficult to have a ongoing negotiation with the uh, referee conversation not negotiation <laughs> um without letting everyone in on that you know if you have to walk forwards towards a referee that's already quite an aggressive confrontation if you then have to articulate it with everyone else listening that again you're, you're inviting people to participate in the conversation which is not the art of captaincy so um on the basis of that i would definitely have always made a forward my captain not because owen farrell was not the best captain he probably is but because it's about being having small uh, quiet conversations with the referee trying to get him on side you never heard richie mccall really speaking to the referee but of course he was in his ear all the time and the ref was in his ear as well Martin Johnson, you probably heard a bit more of him. But, it, you know, if you look at... I'm not saying backs can't captain size, because of course they can, but the majority of the World Cups have been won by a forward as a captain. Um, and that's not because we're better captains. Uh, it's because that's where most of the action happens. Yeah, it's where the chaos is. It's where the chaos is. And referees have got mums and dads at home as well. well. They've got kids at home watching. They've got wives watching. They don't want to be spoken to aggressively. They want to have a... Especially even more so now. Um, but, you know... I just think that that makes a lot of sense. It's going to be fascinating because clearly Owen Farrell could easily continue in his role as captain. But just by not making captain, it doesn't undermine him in any way whatsoever. Mm. It frees him, actually. frees him up um, to play even better, to be even better. Um, you wouldn't take the goal kicking away from him, um, which is what they did with Michael Smith, which is odd. Mm. Um, don't pick him at 10 and then take, him, take away all his... Uh, his responsibilities because that's almost like saying, "Well, I trust you, but not you know." But you've got to go out with your big brother. You can't go out on your own. Um, so it's 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 weird. I mean, I, I'm 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 not trying to be controversial, but I would have made. There was a time when I'd have made uh, Jamie George captain. Um, there's a time when I, I think that. Well, Courtney's done it for a bit. Courtney's done it for a bit. I just, I just think that you know. I mean, if it was me now, um, there's a number of options available. Um, do you think the captain should help choose Ellis, the Ellis, team? No, yeah, Ellis, no, no, no. you don't know. Uh, no, Ellis Genge would be a, cap, a very good candidate for captain. He's, he's the guy that Borthwick picked at Leicester, mm. and everyone thought, "Ooh, it's a strange selection, is it?" Uh, but it actually worked brilliantly. He captained them very well. Um, Steve Borthwick was picked as England captain by Martin Johnson, so clearly Martin thought that a forward was the right person yeah. to deliver that. So it's going to be a fascinating first conundrum for him. 
Um, and I'm not pushing him in any different direction, but it's, a, in my view, no slight on Owen Farrell, but it should be a forward by, by virtue of the fact that we need to change that narrative. Um, it could easily be Maritoji, you know. I um, mean, everyone said, well, you know, maybe his behaviours weren't quite weren't quite like that, but he's achieved everything in the game. He's an awesome player, awesome player. Yeah. I mean, why can't he be an awesome captain as well? Of course. Uh, so, yeah, there's a number of options. Um he may just decide, you know what, this is, we've got one, we've got less than a year to the World Cup, let's just leave it as it is. But uh, I would strongly advocate uh, for a forward to be the captain, yeah.